Are we gonna have a problem? Because I feel like we're gonna have a problem. I mean, come on, man. You're already making it awkward. More awkward than it should be. Because I know you're Myron. Just take it down a notch, all right? It's just a golden AK-47. It's not that amazing. Actually, you know what? This thing is pretty damn cool. And the best part is, I don't even run around with it in-game because I look like a total clown with a golden weapon. The only reason that I unlocked it was so that I could hear the ball and music while you equip it at the loadout screen. I got bitches all on my dick and every day sucking on my- Allow me to start off by saying that this is not a complete assault rifle guide. And the reason that I say it's not is very simple. Let me put it to you this way. The balance among the assault rifles is so bad, my mind has run out of adjectives. When searching for the right word to describe them, horrible isn't quite right, neither is terrible, neither is embarrassing. My brain purely says to me, bruh, bruh. These things are nothing short of laughable, and I feel as if whoever was in charge of balancing them was completely high when they were doing so. That's right! You know what? I'll spell it out for you very plainly. The ACWR, the AKS-74U, the CAR-556, the G36C, the ARM, the L85A2, the RO933, and the SG553 are all complete pieces of shit. Although some of them are better than others, the majority of these weapons, you are better off grabbing them by the barrel and swinging them like a club rather than using them as a firearm because their performances are embarrassing. And I'm not saying that because I don't like the way they look or the way they feel. They are just unequivocally, quantitatively, and statistically inferior to the top three assault rifles. And if you don't believe me, I welcome you to check the link down below to the Simthic stats page. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, let's take the L85 for example. Compared to the M16A3, it has worse damage, significantly less range, a worse rate of fire, and a slower reload. So, why does it exist? Why? It serves no purpose. By equipping it, you are proactively putting yourself at a devastating disadvantage. It's rolling our line, it's absolutely superfluous. And I can say the same about the majority of the other assault rifles. This, this balancing is nothing short of churlish. Now as a result of this horrible balancing among the assault rifles, I have decided to hold off on a complete assault rifle guide including every weapon in the operator class, simply because I think that somebody with a functioning pride of lobe over a visceral is going to understand the degree to which they a done goof and they'll fix it. But until that epiphany and subsequent balancing happens, allow me to fill you in on the three god guns that absolutely dominate this class. These three assault rifles are the AKM, the M416, and the M16A3. Now, in an effort to not waste your time, I'm going to take just 90 seconds with each rifle to fill you in as to what it's all about and how you can obliterate an entire server with it. It, but just keep in mind that you really can't go wrong with any of these three as they are absolutely head and shoulders above the other assault rifles. It's hilarious. Okay, 90 seconds each. You ready? Okay, go. The AKM is by far the most powerful assault rifle in the game in terms of damage and raw killing power. It deals 36 damage per shot up to 30 meters, falling down to 25 damage at longer ranges. It fires at a rate of 600 rounds per minute and has one of the slowest reloads among the assault rifles, but most importantly, it has a massive amount of recoil. Now, not only does the AKM kill faster than any of the other assault rifles in the game, but it's also my personal favorite, in case you didn't notice with the whole gold thing. And I would even say that it can be the best assault rifle in the game when in the right hands, but it is extremely difficult to unlock its full potential, and here's why. You need to be very skilled at not only controlling recoil when firing, but also picking your engagements. There are plenty of weapons in the game that casuals can use and still do well with because they have high rates of fire, like the silly little K-10. The AKM is the complete opposite of this with its low rate of fire. And above all else, this weapon is nothing short of unforgiving. If you go up against an M16A3 user and you miss your first couple shots, he is going to absolutely stomp you into the ground with his superior rate of fire. But if you're an accurate player that can stay on target and control recoil, you beat that M16A3 user every single time because you statistically kill faster than he does. Not to mention that the heavy vertical recoil often results in non-stop headshots if you start firing at the guy's chest. Long story short, if you can handle the low rate of fire and the recoil, you will be punching baseball-sized holes in the enemy 
and becoming their absolute worst nightmare. The M16A3 is undoubtedly your best bet for assault rifles when it comes to playing as the cops. It deals 28 damage all the way out to 40 meters, falling down to 18 damage at longer ranges. It fires at a rate of 800 rounds per minute and has a very quick reload, and the weapon can be summarized in one word. Versatile. Now, the defining characteristic of the M16A3 from the AKM, beyond the lower bullet damage yet higher rate of fire, is the ease of use. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're blind. I don't care if you were born without arms. I don't care if you don't have fingers. You can do well with the M16A3. It's so simple, it's impossible to fail. It's great at close range because it does more damage than all of the other assault rifles except the AKM. It also has a great rate of fire that can make up for a lack of reaction speed or accuracy. And it's even wonderful enough over range because the recoil and spread are so easily managed by the average player. So for the overwhelming majority of you out there, this is the very very best assault rifle for you to use. It caters to casual players and wannabe MLG pros alike. If you have any doubt about which assault rifle to use, look no further. And as a final tip, basically all the other assault rifles that you can use as a cop kind of just suck in comparison. So the choice is pretty obvious when you spawn as the boys in blue. Finally, we have the M416, which is pretty similar to the M16A3, but has some differences that are worth noting. It has the same damage model, dealing 28 damage all the way out to a whopping 40 meters, falling down to 18 damage at longer ranges. It fires at a rate of 850 rounds per minute, which is 50 rounds per minute faster than the M16A3, and a faster reload, and is overall a slightly more close range oriented weapon. Now for all intents and purposes, this weapon is nearly identical to the M16A3 in its application and use. It's still extremely versatile, yet performs slightly better than the M16A3 in close quarter situations. It has a slightly tighter hip fire, Obviously kills faster because it has the same damage yet a faster rate of fire and very similar recoil. Now, if you were to put a gun to my head and force me to tell you exactly which weapon is better, I would have to go with the M416. Just the fact that it's nearly the same as the M16A3 yet kills slightly quicker and has a slightly tighter hip fire and a reload advantage, that's enough to convince me. But that's not gonna be an issue for the majority of you for one simple reason. Unlike in the beta, the M416 is no longer a cop weapon. The M416 is now a criminal weapon. So if you're looking for versatility on both sides of the law, feel free to use the M16A3 when playing as law enforcement and the M416 when playing as a ruthless thug. And that is my very best advice to you. M16A3 is a cop, M416 as a criminal. They are super simple to use and extremely deadly. Now, if you consider yourself a non-casual player, I would recommend using the AKM like an adult instead of the M416, but that's really about all that I have to say. I hope we're clear on how 70 plus percent of the assault rifles are absolute garbage and the other three can easily carry you and your team to victory. Hopefully someone over at Visceral learns how statistical analysis works and they fix this thing before everybody is running around like a clown with a golden AK, M16, and M416. But I don't know. Even if they don't patch it, I don't really care. I don't know about you guys, but I'll still be lurking and murking on scrubs with my golden AK. And that's about all I have to say. Peace out, nerds. <laughs>